I'm a former architect. Went to architecture school, University of Washington. Worked for a healthcare architectural firm for a number of years. I had an opportunity to work in the senior housing industry. I love the not-for-profit world. There's a mission that, bottom line, it comes down to how can we serve seniors? I think Transforming Age offers a lot of diversity in terms of the choice a resident makes of where they want to call home. We're doing everything from continuing care retirement communities, where you might have more planners that are thinking about their future, that offers all the different levels of care, to just a month-to-month -month rental. So there's something out there for everybody. Everybody has their own story. And we're talking about homes for the rest of their lives. And so we're highly sensitive to making sure that we're meeting that diverse population as best as possible. Senior living in the last 20 years has changed pretty significantly. And the driving reason is really the demographics. And as we noticed, you know, the senior population is booming right now. And the expectations of that consumer that is searching for a new community has really changed. And they're looking for places that have amazing, rich amenities and something that they can call a home, you know, a, like a community. So it's a consumer that's more sophisticated, they're more educated, and they're uh, a little more demanding as well. And so we're trying to meet those new consumer needs as best as possible in our new communities. Sustainability with Transforming Age is extremely important. As a not-for-profit organization, you know, to be really good stewards of the environment is a real critical key component that we're trying to achieve in everything we do. Because I think that's really what our new residents are looking for moving in too. They wanna to make sure that we're responsible and we're making the right decisions. Park Shore Juanita Bay um, in Kirkland, Washington is going to be a really special community. Number one, it's very intimate, it's unique. It's only got 50 apartments in it. It's all independent living. What that will allow you to do if you need future healthcare needs is to use the transforming age network that we have of the other communities. Successful aging, I think, is creating environments where people in their last quarter of their lives can thrive. I think we all want that. We want the ability to meet new friends, be continued learners, stay healthy, eat great meals, be fit, and just have a good time.